Ed and Lorraine Warren were the most well-known demonologists in the world, and if you're a fan of horror, then you must know them. Known for investigating the Amityville horror and the Enfield poltergeist, they were and still are famous. I'm your host, Michaela, and today we are talking about the top 10 expensive things Ed and Lorraine Warren own. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell because it really helps us out. But starting off this countdown at number 10, The Crying Boy Painting. Made by an Italian artist, The Crying Boy Painting is a mass-produced artwork with a curse to its name, and shared stories that quickly gained popularity. The painting was linked to tales of injury, the sound of children's cries in houses with no kids, and lots of houses burning down. The painting was always the only thing left untouched in the fire. Although these stories are surrounded by plenty of skepticism, the painting has been observed to have a substance that prevents it from burning to some extent. Reportedly, the subject of this painting was, quote, a little street urchin that the artist came across in Madrid in the 1960s. The young boy was a mute orphan with a sorrowful expression that instantly captivated the artist. He had stopped to paint the child when a Catholic priest came over to issue him a stern warning. He said that the boy named Don Bolilo had run away after seeing his parents pass away in a fire. Since then, fires of unknown origin would break out wherever the boy went. It happened with such frequency that he was given the nickname Diablo, which translates to devil. The priest warned the artist against having anything to do with the child. However, the painter ignored him and adopted the boy. He bought the boy home to live in with him and painted the Crying Boy series, with a price tag that can be over $5,000 for an original painting, not one of the prints, making you want the Crying Boy even less than before. Number 9, The Black Orlov Diamond. This is one of the most expensive items on this list. The Black Orlov Diamond fetched an insane $352,000 last time it was auctioned in 2006. The estimated price, however, is consistently rising. Today, it could be worth approximately $1 million. Although its curse has apparently been broken, its dark history is to not be forgotten. Originally from India, the diamond is rumored to have been one of the eyes of a statue of Brahma, a Hindu creator god. Stolen from its original place, the diamond was directly linked to three mysterious, unexplained passings of its past owners, who all reportedly took their own lives. The diamond was recut in 1950s, which supposedly broke its curse. Actress Felicity Huffman even wore the diamond at the Oscars in 2006. Still, the story of the diamond gives people goosebumps. Number 8. Haunted Doll This creepy doll was found on eBay, of all places. The seller claimed that it's haunted by the spirit of a 20-year-old woman named Diana. The doll goes by the same name. Although the vendor claims that the experiences are mainly for entertainment and aren't guaranteed to work for everyone the same way. According to the seller, the doll is constantly causing multiple weird phenomena, such as neighbors seeing phantom children and swings moving on their own. Supposedly, Diana is a huge fan of different feminine accessories and products. Although this is an informal evidence at the best, you'd still have to be extremely brave to buy this or any creepy porcelain doll for that matter. I remember my grandma loved these kinds of dolls, but I always thought they were kind of creepy. And ever since seeing the Annabelle movies, I can't change how I view dolls. At $1,250, the temptation might not be that high. Number 7, the Bassano Vase. At first glance, the Bassano Vase is merely an old Italian vase. But as you've probably noticed with other items, just because it's something seemingly simple and normal doesn't mean it can't be horrifying. Originally made from carved silver, the vase is rumored to have been a wedding gift for a 15th century Italian bride. In the end, the well-meaning present turned into something much scarier. On the night before her wedding, however, some sources say the next morning, the bride was found slowly passing away or already passed away with the same vase in her hands. Since then, vase has been linked to many passings and has been through countless owners. It's now widely believed to be cursed. But then in the late 1980s, the vase was sold for $300,000, which was about $2,500 at the time. Number 6, Annabelle Replica. Here's another one from eBay. Although this incredibly good and expensive replica is said to have no paranormal qualities, this prop is based on the Conjuring and Annabelle movies, which were inspired by real stories from Ed and Lorraine Warren, the real-life demonologist who actually dealt with the Annabelle doll. Although the real one looks different from this prop or in the movies, it's undeniable that this one looks much creepier. It still has that scary and mysterious vibe that you just don't want in your home. Given how the real doll was said to appear in different places in the house and to be one of the most haunted objects ever to exist, I'd probably pass on this doll. The almost $2,500 price tag is also an extra reason for that. Number 5, Dr. Kevorkian's Van. Owned by Zach Bargains, this van once belonged to the infamous Dr. Jack Kevorkian. Zach is an American paranormal investigator, actor, television personality, museum operator, and author. He's also the principal host of the Travel Channel series Ghost Adventures. Nicknamed the Death Bus by some, the rusty 1968 Volkswagen van looks incredibly creepy and was the place where the doctor performed some of his approximately 130 assisted passings. Zach is really the kind of person who would buy something like this. After the purchase, he displayed it in his paranormal themed museum alongside other creepy items. He definitely isn't afraid to spend money on eerie things. The van doesn't even start anymore, but Zach is happy with his purchase. He managed to get it for $32,000. Number four, the Psychopod. A pot. 
Yes, a pot, an old metal one that belonged to a man named Ed Jean. He was a famous serial executioner in the 1950s who reportedly took people's lives, skinned their cut up body parts, and turned them into clothing items and furniture. The pot in question is what he used to hold those parts of his victims. Ed Jean's story was used at the basis of plenty of Hollywood horror classics, including the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Silence of the Lambs. Although Jean became a great example of the psychopathic serial killer in the eyes of film directors, the little pot here isn't a movie, replica, or prop. It's the real thing. Also bought by Zach from Ghost Adventures. He thinks it would be a nice display in his home and gladly spent $2,800 to buy it from a woman who used it as a flower pot. Number three, The Hands Resist Him. This incredibly creepy painting, The Hands Resist Him, was made by Bill Stoneham in 1974. Although it's the cheapest item on this list and only $1,000, I felt it had to be included because to someone rich, $1,000 may not seem like a lot, but to us normal people, it is. The story of the painting started when a young girl constantly told her father that the children in the picture were fighting. The dad set up a motion sensitive camera to show her that every everything was okay, but he noticed and said that the boy was crawling out of the painting. This artwork has been linked to reports of uneasiness, illness, and lots of paranormal phenomena, including hot air blasting from the painting and even three passings. Some have claimed that just looking at the original eBay listing caused some paranormal happenings in their homes, but who knows how true that one is. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've never heard of anything like Annabelle jumping through the screen and cursing you, but maybe it's true. Number two, Michael Jackson's chair. As its name suggests, this chair was indeed owned by Michael Jackson. Furthermore, it's from his deceased room and was originally originally used by his doctor when monitoring Jackson while he's on propofol. A propofol injection is used to help you relax or sleep before and during surgery or other medical procedures. This medicine is an anesthetic and a sedative, the substance which led to MJ's tragic passing. The chair was later bought and there are claims that it still has some of Michael's makeup stains. Although it's unclear whether the chair has produced anything paranormal so far, it's not the nicest furniture to own given its story, but the chair comes at a good deal at around $15,000, if you want to call that a deal. Now coming in at number one, cursed artwork painted with blood. The existence of the oil painting officially known as The Anguished Man was first revealed in a story from Northern England. Sean Robinson had claimed that his grandmother had kept this painting in her attic for 25 years and had reported a ton of paranormal phenomena occurring in her home. She saw a dark figure of a man and heard weird noises, including crying. She also reported that the man took his own life and used his own blood in the painting alongside the oils. After his grandmother passed away, Sean got the painting. It stayed in his basement until strange things started to happen, the same weird noises and crying that his grandmother had experienced. She'd warned him that the painting was evil but Sean and his family weren't prepared for this much. Although the painting couldn't be brought into your own home, you once could buy it for a whopping $2,000, but supposedly it's no longer for sale. But that is everything. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and I will see you next time.